Hi, I'm Cambria. I'm a student physical therapist at the Adventist University of Health Sciences. Today I had a great conversation with Dr. Ratcliffe. He is a wound care specialist and I wanted to talk about the effects of phonophoresis. So this is therapeutic ultrasound and specifically we're going to use it with Voltaren gel. So diclofenac sodium topical gel is an NSAID, so it's going to block the prostaglandin synthesis and decrease inflammation in the typical way that it normally does. But in this situation, we're going to apply the gel with some ultrasound gel and use the ultrasound waves to push the medicine into the skin. So basically, we're going to apply the therapeutic amount of the gel to the affected area. In this case, we have our left patellar tendon and we'll apply that side by side with the ultrasound gel and we'll just mix it together topically on the skin. And then using the ultrasound head, that mixture becomes the medium to pass into the skin. So considering we have a left patellar tendon injury inflammation, we're gonna use the normal parameters that we would normally use. That would be frequency of three megahertz due to a superficial area intensity of one watt per centimeter squared on a continuous pulse cycle. So this combination is effectively going to push the Voltaren gel into the skin. Now that's not necessarily supported by the literature, this concept of pushing, more so the it's supported by the thermal effect of the ultrasound being able to increase the permeability into the skin. But this concept of pushing is based on the, the waves of the ultrasound going like this will essentially push that medicine just straight into the skin further. So thank you for listening. Just wanted to share that with you.